Hello everyone, Kishi Runner for Kishi Runner Games, and I am back today with another episode of Hustle Castle. It is time to wrap up the Carnival Molopoly. Last time I did a video, we talked about the intro to it, and I have not done much other than just played the game in the last 10 days, so we're going to go ahead and wrap it up, see what kind of goodies I can get, and uh, do some dice spinning, and then, yeah, see what shows up. Uh, also, new to the game is we have a Black Friday sale showing up, so we'll do a very, very quick look at that. It's more or less the same thing we get every time, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that. But that is here as well for a couple days. So let me um, let me do my normal here. Real quick shout out to all of those supporting the channel. Before I get started here, I have a couple different methods to support the channel on Buy Me a Coffee or just through YouTube memberships. So the ongoing monthly supporters, uh, we have Flirt, Fwap, and Loco. Thank you very much for your continued support with Buy Me a Coffee. And then Keith Giles and Stacey Turner, thank you as well for your monthly memberships. I definitely appreciate all the support you guys continue to give on a month by month basis. All right, so where are we here in the event? So we have, we won't spend too much time out here because all the weather's making a lot of noise. You know, we could just turn that off real quick so we don't have to listen to that bad weather. Let's go here. Um, there, not hero. Castle editor, we'll change the weather. I have issues in my castle, so I can't change it. All right, so we won't do that. We'll do that in a minute. So obviously here's our event. We'll talk about where I'm at there. And then we have the Black Friday sale, which is our normal traveling merchant, normal stuff. Obviously, as you can see, I already have most of these items. There's some big items here that are certainly useful and a lot of people are using them. So um, it's good, but the problem is your chances of getting them are very low. So I have two I didn't get here. I didn't get the artifact before the Absolute Predator. And then we have a brand new artifact here as well. Uh, I need to get rid of that weather background noise. That is just too loud. I don't know if you guys hear that or not, but Let's go castle view, let's go weather, we'll put sunny, quiet weather in there. There we go. A little bit quieter, we hear a little bit of uh, background uh, water running. So the new uh, event specific uh, artifact here is the uh, Lucky Guys bundle. Uh, looks like you get to, uh, um, ha they get a ticket and based on when an enemy is killed or an ally is killed, you get uh, armor stripping of a, an, al an enemy or you get uh, a weapon weapon or armor ability changing quicker so I'm not sure if that's gonna be worth it or not uh, maybe once that's ruined up it might be a little bit better but um, all in all in, in general this right here is just not a very good deal the drop rates are really low you have to spend a lot of diamonds and most of the time you're just gonna get a bunch of epic items here so guaranteed guaranteed here two to four epics you get a lot of chests that are just going to be that occasionally you might get a legendary which is just a basic legendary and then very occasionally you might get one of these unique items so very low drop rates um i personally don't think they're worth it i've done them once or twice and i'm not going to do this one so and then you get premium definitely worth buying premium and for those of you that don't know if you play on ios and android this deal is better on ios because it's only a dollar 99 us versus 249 here on android i'm using the uh, pc version of the game right now and then we have all of our normal things that we get so i'm not going to spend any time going over that so just a normal traveling merchant as opposed to our other traveling dragon who shows up top here giving us some other other deals as well but that is not going on at the moment all right, so where am I in the event? This is probably going to be a long video because I'm going to try to cover up as much of that weather sound as I can. I have 152,000 chips to get through and looks like 508 spins and already have 21 dice and uh, obviously I'll be getting more with all of these. So I'm just going to be blasting through this as quickly as possible. I haven't made any progress since the last time we got together. Then we got all the specials. We did that in the last video. Um, I'm just going to go through and collect all these chests and we'll open them up and see. You know, I'll probably get a few things in there. So with that, let's just go ahead and let's just go ahead and do uh, times 10 spins a bunch of times and looks like 50 times here. Plus probably another one or two based on what we end up getting here. Been seeing a few people complain about, uh, seems like drop rates might have changed a little bit. Um, what we saw with my last video, I got a lot of ones on a lot of my dice. Okay, I guess these drop rates didn't didn't go down. You know what? I'm almost maxed out on my mithril. I'm going to have to go spend that on something here. Um, but it seems like the ones are not uncommon at this point. So uh, ones and twos. So they did certainly nerf that. Uh, so there's a lot of people quite unhappy about that. All right, I need to go spend that mithril. Uh, the problem is I don't have, I'm almost maxed out. Um, 
I'm not doing anything at the moment. I was starting to build my second Legionnaire. I don't know what I want to do for the rest of my equipment. So that's kind of where I've been stuck here. So I guess at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and craft these items, even if it's not the correct one. And then I can just um, pay a little bit less later and uh, swap it out for something else. So when reducing by 45%, when taking magic damage reduces the enemy mage's spell power. That one might be okay, I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and just do that and spend, I think this cost me 600,000 mithril, which will be good. So let's just go ahead and do that. Craft. Legionnaire. Armor. Um, hmm. Did I make a mistake? Let's go look. Yay! I did. Already ancient. All right, so I just need this weapon. That is the problem. I don't have any good weapons to use there, but I'm just going to go ahead and use that one anyway. And let's go craft, legionnaire, weapon this time. There we go. That's what we're looking for. And we'll have to just pay one to swap that out for something else later. But the good news is it gets my mithril down. Our, our gold is good, everything else we don't really care. If I max out some of these, I can go ahead and buy some things from the merchant. So I will be doing that as we go along here. All right, back to the spinning. The gold, we keep an eye on that, obviously. Keep leveling up my, my gems. As we're going through, obviously we're getting more regular die. We're getting more uh, golden die. So uh, lots of spinning to go once we once we get through all these chips. That's at least four. So it's got to be at least six million. I'll wait a little bit longer. Um, I remember right before this video, there's a bunch of magic damage. In general, I don't level up my magic damage, but I did put in a bunch of. Uh, Let's do one more and then we'll go spin that. I did put in a bunch of epics a long time ago and I got epic magic damage and I think I kind of messed up my build there for a little while. So I'm gonna go ahead and convert those to legendary just to get the epics out of the way. And uh, that's where my cash is gonna be going here. Finish leveling up my epics. All right, we're getting up there pretty high. Let's go ahead and spend that cash, nine million. Uh oh, forgotten this PC version here. I gotta be careful of where I'm clicking. I think I can do a merge at this point. Let's go one, gems in use. Got a few of these here for a little bit further. Hopefully this game doesn't uh, freeze. I've been noticing on iOS lately that the game keeps freezing. And I've seen that on two different devices. So I'm hopeful. Oh, I got to level this up yet. I'm hopeful we don't freeze on this version of the app, but we'll see. Okay, we'll merge that one with... Wow, that is very clunky the way we're making it move around here. The game's already lagging. It looks like we probably are going to freeze. Wow, that's going to be very unfortunate if that happens. I guess they put something in this last release that is just not, not very good. The PC version has always been very smooth and uh, clean. But right now, it's not going too well. Look at that, it's just taking this long to click on that. That's gonna make this video even longer. All right, we are 50%. Let's do 50%, 4 million. Good. While we're here, let's just go ahead and level that one up. Max of our gold, put us back down to zero. All right, go spend some more casino chips. A 
a lot of dice to get through. Um, probably not getting quite as many as I thought, which is maybe a good thing. I don't know. It's, uh, I can't do more than one dice roll at a time, so it's going to be... Uh, the more we have to go, the longer it's going to take us to get through all of them, obviously, so... It'd be nice if they'd add a, a times ten on the, the rolling of dice. What's in these? Bunch of dust. Okay. And I'm sure most of you guys know this by now. As you can see in the top left corner, we have three hours left until the event is over. Hey, I finally got a snake charmer set. I do not recommend building that, so that will never get used. I did fight somebody using one of those once. They had, I think I was fighting at 18 million. This other person was fighting at 25 million, I think, and I beat them. They ran all the sets you don't want to use, the, the Bad Archer set, the Snake Charmer set, uh, there's another one of the Bad Tank sets, and they're all maxed out, all legendary, they're just really bad builds, and I took them down pretty easily, so um, there are reasons that people don't build some of those, you know, like I said before, if it's something you want to do and that's something you like, go for it, no reason not to, but certainly you can't expect to be uh, competitive if you're going to do some of the bad builds. All right, we're down to 30. 30 more spins anyway. Getting there. Price I pay for not doing anything throughout the event. It's everything I can do these days. My, my work schedule has gotten really crazy, so I can't do as much during the day as I used to. And then at night, it's just a matter of, you know, doing family stuff and then trying to cram in as much game, game playing as I can um, once, once the family's in bed. So and now we got events going all the, in all the games. So I jam in as much of my time as I can, going through all the games and watching videos and doing the gem bays and the fights and all that kind of stuff. So um, don't even really have time to spend any of these chips and stuff. So that's why I'm, I'm doing them here all right now in the video. I already got my full necromancer. Nine million again. Let's go spend some of that. I'm going to go upgrade. We'll go back. I'm trying to finish maxing out here. All oranges. Let's just make everybody all orange. That's kind of the goal here. Or red, I guess, for this matter, since we're starting to get a couple reds in there. All right. Tom needs two more. And for those that have been following for a while, you notice some of the names have changed over time. It's because, because of the talents. The talents are starting to show up. Um, for one person so then i'll swap them out if it's better and haven't really changed the names and stuff like that so that's why you're noticing some of the some of the names a little bit different obviously i know i could uh swap the names as well but i just haven't all right level up so that puts us at another one getting ready to go it'll be uh one away after that Once we get to four million, we'll do another merge there. What if those are making my name show up there in the background? Up top here when we get uh, things happening. Anyway, back to it. That was not a very exciting one. Possible legendaries, got a bunch of those. Really the goal here for me is the cash, the gold. Leveling up those gems. Some of the other items might be good. Um, just get a bunch of chests, I already have tons of chests, tons of materials, things I need to break down. I just never do, so all of these items just get added to my inventory that never gets looked at. Ooh, there we go, a legendary item. Not bad, got a bunch of those. Got a bunch of those now since I'm not spending them. Or using them, I guess, is better. It's 
And I mentioned this in the last video as well. You can see in the bottom right hand corner, my uh, timer is down to 18 hours and eight minutes. So the timer reset for me, uh, what is it, like five hours ago now, I guess. Uh, you can get through, I'm sure most people know this now, you can get through all the videos very quick. There's a variety of ways of doing it, but the way I do it is, I used to do it with multiple devices, so running this on the emulator, I had a bunch of different emulators, I just, um, another snake charmer, wow. Oh, it's Doom, okay, that's better. Might use that one. Um, yeah, you just watch a commercial, this two hour timer that sh usually shows up here is per device, so you can watch commercials on every device every two hours and you get through them pretty quickly. Um, what I've been doing lately though is, I guess on Android as well, you can like reset and clear cache and things like that, but um, I don't do that. But another way you can do it is to uh, um, watch on just two different devices. So you start watching one on one device, log into the other one, and once the commercial is done on the first the first device, it'll show you you know that you got the rewards on the second device. So then you go back into the first device, and it shows that you haven't watched a video yet. So you just kind of go back and forth until all your time is up, and that's what I did here. So that's why my timer's at 18 hours. It doesn't allow you to watch any more commercials than anybody else. You're still watching the same amount, but it does allow you to uh, get through them quicker. I was just checking my mithril, which is getting fairly high again in my gold. So I might need to uh, speed up my build and do something else. Craft, uh, craft a ring or an amulet for my... Uh, Oof, I think I need to do that right now, actually, for my other Legionnaire. So we're almost maxed out again. So we're going to spend diamonds here to speed that up. I don't even have any um, gear on her at the moment. Again, I don't know what the best build is. And I'm, well, I've looked around, at, before I looked around, and I don't have any of it. So um, I just need to put something on, really. And... Uh, Reduces incoming healing of a random enemy fighter. I don't know. I'm just trying to find something that might be reasonably okay. Injures the current target for five seconds, reduces their healing rate. After every attack, the target's attack speed is decreased by 50%. After four attacks, the target can't, be, can't move. After every six attacks, this is magic damage. I don't want that. Magic damage here. I gotta pay attention here. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Once in a while, the amulet owner becomes immune to burning and healing. Reduction effects for five seconds gains a shield that absorbs 45,000 damage. Yeah, I don't know. On death, someone's a decoy chest. I don't want that. Each time a fighter dies, they explode, dealing damage. All the enemies in their vicinity, any ally hit by the explosion restores health. Yeah, it could be. Could be interesting. Once in a while, when the amulet wearer is stunned, it explodes and deals damage. Hmm. I don't know. Again, I, I don't. Oh shoot! I don't think I have any of the the most ideal items to use here. But I do want to just pick something. The owner is surrounded by smoke screen that prevents the enemy mages and archers from attacking the unit and targeting the unit with spells. That sounds like that could be useful. So let's do this one. So we equip that for the time being. And then we'll go over here, speed this up. 195, sure, let's just do it. And this is not gonna spend as much. Obviously I could do some recrafting. I realize that is something that should happen, but I don't know exactly what I wanna be doing there. Okay, I'll do that. It's fine. 400,000, good. So now we're at 558, and this might as well spend some gold while we're here. Upgrade. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this one as well while we're here, since we're almost, might kick myself on that one later, but that's fine. Yay. All right, 13 more to go. And we're over, we're gonna be over 100 dice here by the time we're done. Ooh, what is it? What is this? Um, might find a use for that. Another Necromancer, that's number two there.
spell power, always nice. Number two on that one as well. None of these are highly exciting, but that's all right. Thirty-one golden dice. That yeah, was not exciting at all. We gotta back out. These are some bad, bad numbers showing up here. Let's try again. I hear some crazy uh, waves there in the windy weather. chest. Two to four legendaries. I think I have a couple of those set in my inventory. Trying to get through these last four, four times tens. Might keep getting Mithra. I'm going to have to go spend some more uh, diamonds to break up that, uh, speed that last one up as well. See where we're at. 8.13. So as long as we don't get more than two, we're okay. Ooh, very nice. Down to 700 casino chips. We are done. All right, good. I might come back. I actually haven't done all my dailies and stuff, so depending on how we go, I might be able to get a little bit more, whether it's in this video or not, probably not, considering we're already 22 minutes into the video, and I haven't, uh, haven't even, I got 121 dice to get through here, so it's going to take a while, obviously. Let's go ahead and collect all these. We'll open them up later. Not sure how quickly we can blast through all this stuff, but... It will be what it will be. I need to get through it anyway, so I might as well record it while I'm doing it. Obviously, I have three more days where I could get through some stuff as well in the coming three days, but... Um, uh, I, I need to get through it anyway, so the goal would just be to do as much as possible. Get it done if I can. Hopefully get some of these event related items. Which I don't even remember what they are because I haven't looked at them since we did our last video. So it looks like we are three die away from getting one more archer's chest. So I guess we can consider that as a potential something to consider to do a little spending to get those other three die. We'll see. Obviously I have two spins here as well. So we have 121 to get through. I'm just going to start start rolling. Ooh, look at that. I said that the rates have dropped and I got a six. Going to get as many chests here as we can get. We're just going to, if something interesting shows up, you know, we'll stop and take a look. But it's mainly primary, um, just general stuff other than some hero leveling stuff, which obviously I need because my hero needs all the help they can get. But the, the big thing we're going here, obviously, is the chests. That was a pretty good pull there. Two epic scrolls. I think I'm over 50 on those now, so obviously I didn't really need them, but, you know, someday they could be used. I guess I'm to the point now I need to start paying attention and doing legendaries and start working my way to build everything up to uh, ancients. Then I won't really need the legendary scroll or the epic scrolls anymore at that point. Definitely would be nice if they would give us a times 10 on this one.
or at least like a times five or something. I'm not sure how big this track is. So if you happen to get a, a times 10 and you got a six, you can get a 60, obviously. I don't know if there's 60 spaces, so they might not be able to do that. But I'm sure behind the scenes, they can code it where it would work regardless. Speaking of legendary scrolls, there's two more of them. Got a ton of them. I've never used them. thought we found last time I could speed things up. I'm going to try to do some clicking in different spots here and see what we can find. Not really seeing anything happening though. Maybe I clicked off on a different spot or something. I don't know. That didn't do anything. Six again. Nice. That didn't do anything. Maybe they got rid of that. I thought, thought I found you could speed that up, but it could have been a different game as well. It would only be American Dad, because right now American Dad and Hustle Cast are the only two that have this this game. I'm sure it's coming to Zero City very soon, but we haven't seen it yet. They just started another uh, stash raid there in Zero City, which is the, the whack-a-mole style of, of events, which is currently the most popular style there, but I have a feeling once this version of events gets to Zero City, that will become a popular one as well. Especially with this version of the uh, implementation, because you get a lot of a lot of things. Well, with all of my hero tokens here, I will have to go back and revisit my hero again. I think do some more leveling. We're down to 100. We're getting down there. Getting a bunch of chests in the meantime. Be nice if there's a way to get a legendary or even ancient gem. Pretty sure it's not possible. Also be nice if there's like an auto auto delete or something for a lot of this junk I don't really care about. Obviously I could click on them and break them down right now, but that's gonna be extra clicking, it's gonna make things even slower. I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible, so I'm not gonna add that extra time time onto this uh, rolling. Not getting as many ones. We had that really weird stretch at the end. Of, there we go. Maybe it's starting right now. Two in a row. At the end of that last video where we had like five, six, seven, eight in a row. I don't know what it was. It was a lot. But we're getting a lot, a lot more sixes than we did at the end of that video. So maybe something else has changed. Oops. Should have looked at that. That might have been something good. Get a lot more chests. That'll be good. We'll do our times 10 on those chests once we start opening them up. So once we near the end, we can get through them pretty quickly. We're making some pretty good progress here, so. Shouldn't be hugely long. Ooh, that was a bad one. We'll break it up here in a minute. Let's let's try something different. Let's try a golden. I don't think it's gonna look any different than what we're doing right now, to be honest with you. Let's see what happens. Looks cooler though, that's for sure. Doesn't change anything on the background. I think only thing it does is guarantees us not to get a one. Wonder what happens if that shows up that heart, which looks like a one, if it moves to something else, or if that just doesn't doesn't pop up. Because obviously there is a one on that die. Obviously that was a pretty good item. 
But I don't know if that's because it was golden. And that is obviously the same no matter what. So there's that one right there. It's a little heart. Looks like it might be dimmed out, so it might not show up. Oops. Clicked on the regular, I guess. Less than 50 regulars now. Two sixes in a row. I wonder if we have a truly uh, balanced die here at the moment. It'd be interesting to run the stats right now. I mean, especially compared to uh, what they were at the last video. I mean, it is technically possible to roll a one, you know, 10 times in a row, obviously, but the chances are extremely, extremely slim to do that. Um, so it's possible that was just a really bad run of luck. Um, it's possible they changed the algorithm that is uh, making this die work, but it would be interesting to, to plot all the numbers I'm getting here and see how balanced these rolls are. It does seem to be a lot of everything from what I'm seeing. I did have somebody on my Discord server talking about it, thinking it was unfair, but it's... I, I, they didn't really ever claim that these were legal, well-balanced, well-set um, die that you would be expected, you know, one-sixth of the time you would get a one and one-sixth of the time you would get a six. I don't think that's ever been uh, mentioned. They did say that actually in uh, American Dad, the very first iteration of this event, the style of event, that you had a much better chance to get um, lower numbers on the die. So it's a harder chance to get the higher numbers. So you wouldn't get it. It's, it wasn't possible to get a six, but it wasn't nearly as likely as it was to get a one. So obviously that means it was not a well-balanced die. But I don't think I've ever seen that mentioned here on this. I thought I was fully maxed out on this one already. Guess not. Uh, yeah, I don't think they ever mentioned that this one was or wasn't in Hustle Castle. But with a lot of that stuff, you know, I, I, I know a lot of people, I guess they take the game more serious than I do. But it's, for me, it is just a game and the developers can make the game the way they want to make the game. And... You know, this kind of starts to get into the, the debate of the free to play versus pay to win debate, which I'm not going to bring up too much here. But um, there are people that play the game that think they and don't pay any money, which is perfectly fine. Everybody has the right to do that, but they expect to get everything else that people that do pay money to get. Um, and it, it seems to be that the train of thought also goes with every single aspect of the game should be. It, perfectly fair like say that uh when the merchant shows up and you have a uh, you know it costs you 710 diamonds to get to have a chance to get one of those premium items so you know people get really upset when they you know open up five of them and they don't get anything but a bunch of epic stuff um it does stink i agree um it is very well known that the drop rates are really low we don't know exactly what they are we i think in american dad they do actually show what the rates are in one of the games i think it's that one um but it's perfectly in the right of the developers to make you know the odds whatever they want to make them. Um, so I mean, it's it's our decision whether we want to continue to play the game or not. And if we don't like it, we don't think it's fair. We don't think it's balanced. Whatever. We don't need to continue spending our time and or money playing the game and supporting it. And if enough people do that, obviously the game will realize it and go away or change something. So me personally, I guess since I don't take it quite as serious, I. It is what it is, you know. This is the game. This is what the way they built it, and I enjoy playing it the way it is. So um, I'm okay with them. It's it's their game. So anyway, enough on that. That's just for me. It's kind of the same free to play, pay to win debate that constantly goes, you know, with this game and all the rest of them as well. So 
everybody, uh, many people have very strong viewpoints on that. I do as well. For those that haven't followed for followed me for a long time, I mean, I for a very very long time wouldn't I refuse to pay any money to any of the games. You know, they're I just wanna I just wanna play them. And there's so many ones out there that if there's something that needs money, then I'll just find something else because I have um, so many different options on the App Store to choose from. So I don't need to spend money on something when I can get something else for free. So there was a, there was a point at some point in my past where. I switched over and I'm okay now paying money to play some games. You know, this is one I've certainly have paid some money to play. Um, you know, throughout my entire life, I've always done PC games or um, platform games or whatever. And, you know, you're, if you're going to buy a PlayStation, it's going to cost you two to six hundred dollars, depending when you buy your your device. Each game is costing you fifty to sixty dollars. And most people don't have a problem with that, and they'll easily do that. So, you know, you can spend hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to play those games. So what does it, you know, what is it if you're going to spend $10 to buy something in this game, for example? So you're still going to come out less, and if you're enjoying it, then why does it matter if you're spending money on this versus spending money on, you know, a $60 John Madden football game for the PlayStation? So, you know, I kind of had that because I stopped. I don't have time to do that kind of stuff anymore. So I stopped playing those platform games. But um, I used to spend a lot of money on those. And I had no problem doing that whatsoever. But I would refuse to, you know, pay 99 cents for an app on the App Store. So, you know, you, still, you know, people are allowed to have their decisions there. But, you know, you can... Uh, you can certainly do it the way you want to, but paying money to, to play some of these games, I don't think is such a big deal like I used to think that it was. And the other side of it also is, especially for the free games, you are supporting the developers because the developers are not working for free. If they want to develop a game and make something like this, it costs a lot of money to pay the developers and all the whole team and everything like that. So um, if nobody would pay any money to play the game, the game would go out of business because they wouldn't be able to keep the servers going they wouldn't be able to add any new content and all this kind of stuff so the people that do pay are the ones that keep the game going so if you are still choosing to be free to play it's perfectly fine but you have to be okay with people that are paying because they are allowing the game to continue on enough about that obviously everybody has a strong opinion on that and that is mine all right we are almost done with the regulars we got three left no idea how many of these chests I've gotten. I've gotten quite a few the way it looks. Thirty-eight minutes in. I thought this was gonna be well over an hour video. Looks like we're gonna be able to wrap it up in less than an hour. We got through all of our regulars now, we gotta get through our goldens. Just all more of the same stuff. Lots of dust. Dust is always helpful. This would be a good time to plug my Discord server. I, uh, I don't know how many people are still here watching me just going around in circles over and over. Um, obviously got the, the big chest reveal coming soon, so hopefully there's still a few people hanging out watching. Um, yeah, if you're not already a member there, um, I have a Discord server where all the games I cover, um, there's different channels there for people to uh, join in and have discussions, ask ask questions about the game, and see what other, everybody else is chatting about. In addition to that, there are weekly giveaways going on on the server. Uh, I used to run them here on the videos a long time ago. It was ended up being just too much maintenance, too much work, because I do that in my other games as well. So doing four weekly videos, um, giveaways within videos, it was... It was a lot because I'd have to do the announcement, plus I'd have to do the um, the announcement of the winner, and it just became too much to, to manage doing them all in video. So now those this, those giveaways are being done on the Discord server. So if you're not already a member there, 
um, check it out. You can see down below on the ticker or in the description of this video here, the link to join the server and you go to the welcome channel and give yourself the uh, Hustle Castle role or any of the other games that uh, you happen to play. And then once you do that, you get access to those channels. And one of those channels for Hustle Castle is a giveaway channel. So uh, Unzi runs the giveaways for me and he posts them every week. And uh, once the time is up, the giveaway bot will uh, announce the winners and you have uh, I think two days basically uh, whatever Unzi says in his in his post but you have two days to send in your game ID so send them in and then within a week or so you will get your uh, 500 diamonds so um, that happens every week so we get 5,000 diamonds to give away every week split it up 10 separate ways so anyway if you're not on there check it out um, say uh say hi in the welcome channel not the welcome channel but there's a general channel and there's a who am i channel and things like that so check it out if you're not already there uh, jump into some conversations start some conversations continuing to grow continue to get bigger so um go ahead and check that out and we are almost done here we have what 12 more to go And then we will try our luck at getting some of these premium event items. Get some pretty big numbers here. There's lots of more gear. Get lots of big numbers with these goldens. It's at least two sixes in a row, probably more than that. Too bad it's a bunch of junk gear. Got an event chest at least. Definitely gonna have to spend some time looking at my hero. I'm getting lots of tokens there. Not even sure what I need to be leveling up at this point. So, uh, most people in the game, I think, have their hero fully maxed out, and they're you know going to the the last level where they're just adding more health or spell power or whatever damage. Um, I'm a lot stronger than I used to be, but I think my hero is like 3.8 million, 3.6 something like that maybe. Um, so for me, that's really good. But compared to all of you guys, it's nothing because I go to the arena. You know, I have seven different fighters. I'm fighting at 90 million. Um, very often, I'm the only one under 20. Uh, very often as well, I'm the only one under like 21 or 22. So it seems like most people now are like 23 to 25 million. So I'm vastly underpowered to most people. Um, I can certainly beat a few of them with my more compact power, but um, there's only so much I can do. And that seems to be getting a little bit worse. So obviously, I need to work on getting a little bit stronger. Not enough lucky dice. I thought I had one left. Oh, it's a regular, I guess. What am I missing? Yep, yeah, it's a regular, that's why. And we finished it off with a one, really nice. All right, we are done and done. Let's back out of here. And we'll go check out where we're at with some of these chests here. Let's go ahead and make our guy happy. He got super unhappy from all of that dice spinning, dice rolling. Anything exciting here? Not right now. All right, let's go see where we're at. 9,172 chests. Got a lot to get through. We have 19, 21, and 20. We have a lot of chests. Obviously, as you can see, I have a lot of things I just don't open. But one day, maybe, who knows? Carnival Archer, that's the one I want the most. I'm going to wait on that one the last, I think. We got the most of these, so we can just do this one first. Why not? Then we do two times tens as well. More scrolls. I have so many of these. All right, times ten. Let's see if we can't get one here. That looks like a big fat no to me. Something very satisfying about clicking the times 10 and getting all the stuff coming in. Ooh, you know what I just noticed? I think I just wasted a ton of mithril. I need to go spend some more of that. We just got 170 and I think that put me to the max, well over the max. And it did. That's unfortunate. 
All right, let's go spend. That is very unfortunate. Let's go back to our Oracle, who is not an Oracle. Legionnaire, we need to get a ring. Again, any ring at this point. Then I'll start crafting some more legendary uh, um, ancient stuff so I can uh, do some recrafting, which I'll need to do. Casting fear, I don't care. Is this a ring? An amulet. It looks like a ring. Magic damage, we looked at all these already. Magic, magic. Once in a while, injures the current target for five seconds, reducing their healing rate. That's just useless. What is this one? Once in a while, reduces incoming healing of a random enemy fighter for 50%. During the effects, enemies in a small area fighter take damage equal to their remaining incoming healing. That's just not very good. Didn't click on this one. Magic damage. Okay. Magic damage. All of these are magic damage. Hmm. I'm just going to have to pick a basic item, I guess. I looked at that, looked at that. All right, whatever. I'm just going to pick something. 1326 on damage. 1326. There we go. Four damage. Let's just do this one. Doesn't matter. It does, but it doesn't. Okay, let's just go speed this one up. Definitely have to work on making my Legionnaire better. Ooh, look at that. 7427 out of 7536. Very nice. Once we put something good in here, that's going to be uh, quite nice. That is a very high percentage on that one. All right, now we do a ring. Select. Yes. Select. So I need, I have one extra. I can do one recraft at the moment. Speed up. All right, so let's see how much extra we have. 400, I guess. We got 400,000. You know what we can also do? I don't know if we'll be getting any gold, but let's go ahead and upgrade in use. Tom, he's right there. Well, let's do a merge then. Merge. Forty-three. Oh, one hundred and five. I think I saw one hundred and five legendary scrolls. Nice. Uh, yes. Okay. And while we're here, let's just go ahead and finish maxing this out. Okay, done. Yay. Let's see where Tom's looking at the moment. One more item that's not legendary. I don't know how much mithril we wasted on that, but that was very unfortunate. Let's try this one. Okay, we are over many, many attempts already. There we go. There's one. There's two. Very nice. do we get in here some other interesting things all right what do we got we got the Mo monty bite on mace monty bite on mace when attacking has a chance to stun the fighter's attack ignores the target's armor if it is stunned or slowed yeah i don't know if i'll use that probably not and the monty bite on plate once in a while the enemy taunts the fighter taunts enemies and makes them attack them during the taunt will 
all incoming damage is reduced by 45%. And whenever an ally heals, the fighter also heals for the same amount. That... Hmm. My current tank is uh, doing damage. But I wonder... I think this might be my Executioner of Light option. So I do like that one. I might be able to, uh, might be able to use that one. Boom, another one. Very nice. All right, we just got three event items. Fantastic. More scrolls. Ooh, look, two legendaries as well. Very nice. And joke book. Once in a while, the fighter puts up three enemies. The fighter puts up to three enemies around the farthest enemy to sleep. They cannot attack or use their abilities. Also, the cooldown time or their abilities increase by 4% and they cannot heal when out. The sleeping fighters take more, take less damage. Uh, this is for a mage with a weapon. This is for, what's his name? I don't use him at the moment, so. Um, yeah, I don't, we'll see. Maybe one day. Four spell power. It's nice. All right. I don't. I think I'm going to go with my uh, theory of things are going good, so I'm not going to back out. So I'm just going to stay right here right now, and we'll check on the status of things later. Oh, there we go. This uh, this is the one that shows up for all of the chests. So we got three items here. We're looking. Let's just go open them all up right here. Not going to back out. Not going to change my good luck roll. See if we can't keep it going. Get a few more. Nice, nice. We are hitting some big ones here. I like it, I like it. All right, I think I didn't like these, so let's see. The Sixth Sense Equipment. Once in a while, the fighter throws the bag of medicine to themselves and three random allies, restoring 300,000, oh, 30,000 health to each and removing stun, slow fear, silence effects. This ability can only be used by a fighter with an archer weapon. Meaning you can't use this on an assassin or hmm, something like that. I, did, I do remember, I did mention maybe it's time to get my second set of uh, archer gear out. So it's kind of like a, a support archer versus a uh, big damage dealing archer. But we do have four slots there. So um, it is something I do want to try out. I, I doubt it will be highly useful, but it does look like it would be interesting. And for the sixth and bow, once in a while it takes a powerful shot at the enemy with the lowest health. Dealing good damage. If the shot kills a target, the fighter strike attacks enemies with fear for one second. Yeah, so so. But nice. And we just got uh, two of the four items right there. And. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, wow. No event items, but that was a pretty good pull, too. We're hitting some big stuff here. Ooh, our mithril is getting very full again, but I don't think I want to back out and reset my uh, reset my good uh, luck here. Still not using shotguns, but that could be fun. That's uh, lots of damage. That's good. We got a soul for the shotgun, and the inventor set. I'm not doing that at the moment, but that's interesting. So inventor, inventor, inventor. Uh, yeah, that was that was pretty good pull. All right, so our last last options here. We got ten ten more to go for our mage. We don't have anything yet, so we're looking for the background, which would be awesome. Looking for the hero mount, which I don't care about. We got an orb, and we got armor. So orb and armor. That's what I'm looking for. So it looks like we got the weapon and the armor for the others. Ooh, look, we did it again. That was on a one. So we got all the weapons. We got all the armor. Let's do it times nine. Here. Oh, I didn't go look at that. We'll look at that. Well, that was in a minute. Um, nothing. So we didn't get any of the hero items. We didn't get any of the shelter items. But uh, lots of other good stuff, obviously. So let's go look at that mage, mage gear we just got.
So we got everything here for the warrior chest except for the Joe Cannon. Oh, the Joe Cannon mount shows in all of them. That's why. Oh, I did get this. Aha, uh -huh, I missed that. I got all of them. I didn't even notice it. Look at that. I got all of them. I just didn't get the cannon. Just didn't get the cannon. Just didn't get the cannon. So I got every single thing except for the cannon. Wow. I guess that was pretty good pull. Uh, yeah. Uh, we we want to go look at these. So the Circus King Orb. Once in a while, the fighter sees the future in a magic orb. Increasing allies dodge. That's silly. Allied for dodge. Enemies cannot dodge. That's just silly. In the armor, once in a while, the fighter throws an alchemy, a chemical flask at a random enemy under the control. If the target has was immobilized, two enemy fighters in a small radius around the target will also be... That's, that's just a waste. But everything else is pretty cool. Let's go check out these backgrounds a minute. Hey, you stay there. So I got everything except for one item. That was way better than I expected. I gotta be, gotta be honest with you. Okay, we're slowly switching our background. There's our new background. Pretty cool. That water is really loud. Let me let me go move real quick because that is just really loud. We'll we'll take a look at it in a moment. I just want to get away from that weather sound. Um, not you. Castle view. No, oh, they're just gonna put us here anyway, I guess. So weather, we got like falling candy or something. Nice. That's a lot quieter too. I lost my mouse. Uh oh. Did we just freeze? Hmm. I think the game just froze. My mouse exists on the other screen. But I can't I can't do anything else. Alright, well I guess we're gonna stop right here as far as uh making progress. One other one other thing to notice here is on the right hand side, I think we talked about this last video as well. But you can now start buying with diamonds some of the previous uh, event items. Um, and it shows you how many diamonds they cost. So there's obviously some there I don't have. And I could go ahead and spend and get them if I wanted to. So um, this I can't go ahead and select it and put it on because the game is frozen. At least we made it all the way to the end. That's pretty good. Um, what I've been seeing on my uh, iOS device, it freezes a lot more often. So we uh, we came out pretty good on that one as far as... Uh, as far as I'm concerned. So we did make it almost an hour. It's almost an hour long. Got through a lot. Got a lot of items. Made a lot of progress. So this is by far the best I've done in any uh, style of event like this so far. So in any of the games. So um, I'm happy with it. Even though a lot of the gear wasn't all that special. Um, yeah. So hopefully you guys were able to get some good items as well. Um, I'm sure the next event is coming. They did uh, announce it. Um, a couple of people have mentioned, you know, they're worried about events coming more and more often now. But I think what I think what's going on is the game is, you know, they don't want people like me or other, you know, discords and things like that to announce the new, the next event and specifics of the event before the game themselves gets to announce anything so i think they're now announcing things earlier before we go ahead and go into the code and find out what it's going to be and announce it before the game does so i think that's all it is i think we're going to stick to monthly events like we've been doing um and if i get a moment i will go ahead and approach a preview what that next event's going to be and we'll talk about it and see if it's going to be something good and interesting and see if there's any good gear so be on the lookout for that uh until the next time this has been kc runner for kc runner games and i will talk to you later See you.